Yo, yo, yo. This is Stars with Magic, where we talk about the stars with magic and magic. And today, right now, I want to talk about Mars Square Neptune. Excuse all of the outside noises. Yeah, just excuse them if you can. Anyways, okay, so... When we're thinking about Mars square Neptune, and I'm talking about a natal aspect, you know, this is something that somebody was born with, um, Mars was square Neptune on the day and time of their birth. Okay, so, essentially, Mars represents, like, what we do in life, you know, our, our actions, um, and, you know, Mars, when you think about Mars and action, and how these energies translate into our actual lives um it basically just means any verb anything that people do anything that people pursue any time people are exercising their masculine energy and they're going after something or when they're doing something when they're working on creating something we're looking at mars okay so and then when we're thinking about Neptune, you know, there's there's two ways we can view Neptune. We can view the positive and the negative side of Neptune, right? So the positive um, influence of Neptune would be fantasy. It would be dream world. It would be dream life. It would be um, dreams come true, you know, fantasy world, like a true fantasy um, coming to life, right? But then the negative side or influence of Neptune would be a nightmare. It would be the, um, it would be abuse. It would be torment. It would be the opposite of a dream. You know what I mean? It would be the opposite of desires and and fantasies fulfilled. All right. So, when we're talking about a square, we're talking about negative energy. Okay, we're talking about negative energy between Mars and Neptune. All right, and so typically I would, and, and when you think of astrology and anybody's chart, individual people's charts, you have to realize that our experience is a two-way kind of thing. You know, we have, when we were born, there were energies that were coming towards us and there were energies that we were vibrating with and somewhat putting out and then of course throughout our lives this stays with us you know the energies that we were born with stay with us and the energies that we put out in life typically reflect what we were born with right and so um with all that being said when we're talking about mars square neptune well, I want to start off with the childhood, okay? More than likely, and this is just from what I've seen with people who have Mars square Neptune, is that for the most part, early in life, they were abused. And also, one more thing, when you think of Neptune, you have to think of boundaries and the lack thereof, okay? Whereas Saturn represents the hardness of reality, it, it represents the structures of reality, Whereas Pisces is the whole, it is the the completeness of the universe, it is God, right? Supposedly. At least that's how I understand that energy. Um, anyways, so, with all that being said, Pisces and Neptune energy, you know, it's not associated with boundaries. It's associated with boundarylessness, actually. It actually is associated with um, the blurring of the lines between reality and illusion. Okay, so more than likely, these people were abused early in childhood. And a lot of the time, this is physical. Okay, this is physical abuse. It might be sexual, I'm not sure. But a lot of the time, when you see Mars in and Neptune square in an individual's chart, you'll also see a correlation between them being abused and this placement. And um, with both of the individuals that I know for sure have this placement, they were actually beaten um, 
they were physically beaten on multiple occasions and physically abused violently on multiple occasions. And for the most part, this resulted in these individuals getting involved in drug use, drug trafficking, um, you know, interrelationship abuse, you know, um, and getting in trouble with the law for these these illegal activities, right? And so a lot of the time, what these people will find themselves um, somewhat getting stuck in is that um, they'll, they'll get themselves into a cycle or they'll find themselves being basically pulled into this cyclical behavior where you know they're depressed and they feel less than they feel like they're worthless and so they go and they do something that will hurt somebody else they'll go and they'll hurt someone or they'll hurt themselves which will then make them or drive them to hurt somebody else and you know so typically you see these people possibly becoming abusive in one stage or another of their life okay and this is really it's really this placement is probably one of the most difficult placements that I've ever seen um, and and truly it's almost as if the people who have this placement if this if this cycle cyclical behavior does not change or is not interrupted somehow in a positive way um, these people will cause themselves to suffer later into their lives okay so for example I actually I'll just get very real with you guys my father has this placement and he was abused as a young child he was beaten by his father humiliated and um, and just just totally crushed by his father I would say and he got involved into drugs um, you know he he moved to another state and met my mother in rehab and um, you know they ended up having a very toxic relationship and he was still dealing with his alcoholic tendencies and long story short you know he never changed you know he he stayed in that um, self-abuse in that self-sabotage in that self-destruction of you know drug use and alcoholism and you know getting involved in dangerous things and so he for many years now has been suffering with the lasting effects that this that these actions have caused him and the way that they've taken a toll on his body um, and he is a single man he is not married and I don't think he'll ever marry in any time that I've mentioned him meeting someone um, truly he would just talk negatively about himself you know he would say that he was not worth um, or didn't have anything to offer anyone and you know so this really is cyclical behavior you know and Mars is it has everything to do with our actions it has everything to do with what we do in life and so these people really are somewhat caught by the illusion of Neptune because Neptune makes it almost difficult for them to see how their actions result in suffering in other people and and the guilt that follows really destroys that the individual even more okay and um, you know it can be devastating to watch somebody deteriorate under this placement and this placement truly is something that can destroy a life I'm not this isn't this video really is in hopes to maybe save lives to help people get out of cyclical behaviors that are keeping them in a state of suffering um, and you know a lot of the time they can be very abusive verbally you know because they they don't know how to go beyond they don't know how to structure their own actions enough to aim themselves in a positive direction okay and with anything in life everything takes practice even even um, benef behaviors that benefit us in the long run you know sometimes we have to work our way up to doing good things for ourselves and this is just the way 
things are, you know, it's just, it is really crappy, but at the same time, you know, I don't know, don't ask me for the reason of life, because I don't know, <laughs> but, um, you know, at the end of the day, these people need a lot of help, and they need people who won't stick around for the abuse, okay, now, it'll be very easy for them to enter into situationships, right, because they're already in a state of suffering, and typically, when you find a partner or you meet a partner, somebody who is willing to partner with you and, and they give you love and attention and affection, um, you can't help but want to relieve that suffering. And so you don't ever really... These people, it's almost as if they they can't even see their own shortcomings, you know. So, And they don't see how... How their own self-pity and how their own self-sabotage negatively negatively affects other people and so these people will really be I wish I had some advice because I and, and I do have advice but I really wish that I could resolve issues for people because these individuals seem to really be struggling um, but because I am so closely in relation to them, I kind of keep my distance because I am going through my own stuff and I can't really help them. Um, but anyways, so the advice that I could give through this medium to somebody who has a Mars square Neptune aspect in their chart, um, I would say acknowledge that you have made mistakes that have hurt other people. You know, this is the first step towards... Um, you know, truly resolving the many issues that you probably deal with daily, okay? Just acknowledging that you have done things that have hurt other people, okay? Secondly, I would say acknowledge that there were things that were done to you that hurt you, okay? And, and allow yourself to feel the pain, but don't punish yourself by saying that you or telling yourself that you deserved it because nobody especially innocent children especially young people especially even people who have done wrong and made mistakes they don't deserve punishment you know I'm, some people deserve to you know live the consequences of their actions yes but do people deserve to suffer I would hope not and and don't cause suffering on yourself okay because this is just gonna make the issue more complicated so just don't do it refrain from speaking negatively to yourself if you can um, fourthly I would say it might be good to separate yourself for a while it might be good to isolate yourself in certain ways. In certain ways, in terms of, like, let's say romantically speaking, it would be good to prevent yourself from entering into relationships if you know that you have issues with boundaries and not crossing them. You know, some people might need to live their lives as single individuals. Maybe it is the best thing for my, you know, my biological father to never date ever again. I don't know. I'm not... I'm not God, but I would say that I'm sure he knows himself, and so this might be an aspect that really does keep one isolated. Um, and if this is something that horrifies you or terrifies you, then maybe it's not meant for you. Maybe, maybe what is meant for you is to recover and to overcome this negative aspect, okay? Um, another piece of advice I would give is to to seek help, you know, to, to find a way to identify where your boundaries were crossed. Like, let's say there were boundaries that kept your well-being intact, right? And let's say in your life people crossed those boundaries and they abused you in certain ways, right? Everybody has gone through things that they need to recover from. Anytime anybody has a traumatic experience, they need to recover from it. And if you've not ever been able to fully recover, 
then this will be something that you will continue to struggle with so do find some way to help yourself whether if this is you know it, it, it as long as it truly is moving in the direction of you being a healthier individual you sabotaging yourself less you know you inflicting pain and misery on yourself less and encouraging yourself more and loving yourself more and being more passionate about living healthy and, and living a full and complete life you know it, those are the things that you want to pursue you know oh and and a lot of the time what I found has helped me is intentionally decorate your living space wherever it is that you live whether if you're homeless and on the street or if you're in a mansion and you have thousands of rooms fill your living space your living area even if it's temporary even if by the hour you don't know where you will be try to carry some things with you and if things get taken away from you pursue finding more positive things to fill your living space with that remind you of your self-help journey okay and i mean i would give this advice to anybody really but especially to the mars square neptune individual because these people struggle with self-sabotage more than any other individual on earth um also maybe yeah no these probably are, these probably are the only ones um and so whenever you see somebody on the street who's you know wallowing in in the dirt and they're drunk or they're depressed or they're strung out on drugs or whatever this person might have a Mars square Neptune aspect in their chart and they have not ever found or come into cross paths with people who have overcome this or who have any positive advice or a way to show them why things have happened or how it is even in the stars you know um, and I feel that there can be a lot of healing when you look at your chart because you see things that you wouldn't expect to see in your natal chart. You'll see things that are like, wow, I had no idea that that had anything to do with what I used to go through as a child. You know, like, y you'll find some incredible things when you look at your chart and you actually have somebody who knows what they're looking at explain it to you. Um, so yeah with all that being said if if you feel like if you already know you have this aspect and you need a little bit of help or direction or maybe just some encouraging words you can uh, send me an email i'll leave it in the description of this video um also if you'd like a consultation to see if there are any other aspects that you should be concerned about or that need to be addressed or anything any if, if you just think that I'm insightful and you would like a a chart interpretation done by me then I'm more than happy to do that um, you know I'm kind of thinking that I want to do a thing right now where I'm offering five dollar chart interpretations you know if if you want me to interpret your chart just send me five dollars and I'll send you like five to seven paragraphs of what I see Alright, with all that being said, um, this was Stars with Magic, and I hope that you find this helpful and that this might even help you feel encouraged to help an individual that you know has this aspect. Alright, um, leave a comment if you do know somebody that has, as that has this aspect, or if you also have advice for the Mars Square Neptune individual, please... And I mean, please, leave it in the uh, comments, because honestly, these people need all the help that they can get. And um, as long as it's positive, by all means, please do uh, leave something for a Mars Square Neptune individual. Yeah.